We are now here for the big throwback battle royal. This match is a big collaboration between CKW and the world of the legends of wrestling. We have four wrestlers from CKW, A-List, Mystery, Sean Excite, and Phenom. And we have four legends of wrestling. X-Pac slash Sean Waltman slash Six slash Six-Pac slash the one, two, three kid, whatever you want to call him, Raven or Johnny Polo, <laughs> uh, Rob Van Dam or Sting. It's an over-the-top row, eight-man battle royal. All-out chaos. I don't know who's going to win it. But all I can expect is all-out chaos. And a lot of people pissed. <laughs> they get thrown over really quick. We got some big names here like Raven and Rob Van Dam. Staying in X-Pac. We got some big stars here in CKW. Some of which have been champion. Some of which have still working on that in their career. Clash of Generations here, folks. The fans here at Atlantic City are waiting. First one there. A list. A former two-time CKW Tag Team Champion, a former one-time CKW Hard Worker Champion, has tried to win the world title in recent, you know, <laughs> you know, few shows and has failed to do so. But he's not. It's not letting him get down. He's going to. He said he's going for it. He said he's not going to stop until he can acquire the world title one day. And oh my God, we got X Pac coming in DX and all. Hmm. Sorry about that. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, X Pac! X Pac, <laughs> one of the few men outside Shawn Michaels that can say he's been in both DX and the NWO. Multi time champions. Wherever he's been, WF slash E, TNA, WCW, wherever the hell else he's ever been. It's X Pac, everyone. And we're fans here are waiting. Here comes Mystery, formerly known as Shadow Slayer. And representing the Trailblazers from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 172 pounds, Chris the Masked Man. His career since unmasking himself post season one has been kind of here or there. I mean, it could be better. Even he would say it could be better. But he has some decent wins on under his belt and a bright future out of him. Especially if he could beat legends like freaking X Pac and Sting in a battle royale. He's here and he's ready <laughs> to fight.
And here's Raven. And from New York, weighing in at 290 pounds, Raven. My guy. We have Raven. Whether you knew him from WWF slash E, WCW, ECW, TNA, countless indie promotions, <laughs> you knew Raven's Flock or Raven's Nest. Everyone should know Raven, even if you know him as Johnny Polo. Raven, big name in hardcore wrestling. Big name in the 90s and early 2000s. My God, when he debuted in the WWE, that was... Like, he made that transition during the Monday Night Wars. That was actually pretty big when he kicked freaking goddamn Jerry King Lawler's ass. <laughs> and he's here in the CKW ring in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Man, these fans... These... This... These entrances are probably going to be longer than the actual match. It's an over the top row battle royale. Those don't usually last very long. We got Sean X like, doing his best DX impression here tonight. Hey, and Legends Night. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 222 pounds, the X Factor. Sean Evans. Sean Excite. Also, like I mentioned with A-List earlier, given that they were a former tag team, um, a two-time former tag team champion here in CKW, a one-time former hard worker champion. He, especially since this season has started, has been trying to make a name for himself after his uh, loss back at the end of season one to his former partner in this ring. You see A-List. Um... And, since, and as A-list's like stock and place on the card has been rising since the beginning of season two, Sean X is on a fluctuating up and down roller coaster, <laughs> and a win at a battle royale like this against legends like Rob Van Dam would probably do him some real, real, real good. And here comes Rob. And Van Dam. Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 220 pounds. Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam fans here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, on their feet for this multi-time champion, wherever he's been, from ECW to WWE and TNA. Rob Van Dam. Especially known by fans probably CKW given we're a Michigan based wrestling promotion <laughs> from Battle Creek, Michigan. Mr. Monday Night, Mr. Thursday Night, Mr. Pay Per View. I think he had that as a name once. I'm blanking now. Former Money in the Bank winner in WWE. Yeah. We got some names here, legend wise, that are, you know, trumping every single one of our wrestlers. Oh my god. <laughs> Some of these guys are probably like, oh my god, I'm in the ring with that guy. Oh no. <laughs> and next is Phenom. Oh. Showing tribute to, uh, Sting. Representing the Trailblazers from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 222 pounds, the Fina. A little honoring Sting here, one of his opponents here tonight, right on his shirt. A former hard worker champion. He made his debut 
in ring wise, let's say, you know, on a main television thing, not the house shows. Let's let's be specific here, people. He made his debut at the end of season one at Kroganza, being in the corner of his now partner and friend Mystery when he was Shadow Slayer. And then being called out by then hard worker champion Leroy Bartholomew the third in an impromptu match later on in the night where he won the hard worker champion. You know, the championship. Wow. And he's here tonight in a ring with four legends. And his stock could go way up if he wins the thing. And now there's only one man left. And his name is Sting! There should be no need for an introduction on Sting. If you don't, if you're a pro wrestling fan for any extended period of time, and you don't know who Sting is, I honestly don't know how to respond to that. He's been wrestling. How, how, he's literally been wrestling like five decades now. Multi-time champion. All around the world. A lot of big name feuds. Ric Flair. Ricky Steamboat, I believe he wrestled. He wrestled the NWO. He's wrestled freaking everybody. And here we... Holy... Oh, Jesus Christ. The match starts and everyone is going at it in this very ring. Oh my... Oh, and there goes X-Pac. X-Pac has been eliminated. X-Pac gets thrown up. Holy crap, A-List. Phenom just cut out A-List. Oh, oh my God. Sean X-Pac just eliminates Sting. Eliminated. Sean X-Pac just eliminates Sting. Holy crap. Oh crap. Sean X-Pac just eliminated. Holy crap, he just threw him in the X-Pac. Sean X-Pac just chucked Mystery out of the ring and threw him in the X-Pac. Holy crap, we're down to... Oh my God, we're down to... Raven Effect. We're down the mystery. No, we're down the Phenom, Raven, Sean Excite, and Rob Van Dam. And okay, nope, no Sean Excite. Oh, here he goes. Has been eliminated. Oh, we're gonna have a legend win this, aren't we? We're gonna have a legend win this, aren't we? We're gonna, we're gonna definitely have a legend win this, aren't we? Phenom's, Phenom's gone. It's down to ECW. It's down to ECW. ECW. <laughs> <laughs> Sound the Raven and Rob Van Dam. The fans here on their feet. We saw the nations. I told you back and forth. These wrestlers are not playing. And all our wrestlers are gone. So the legends. Oh, and there's some punches from Raven. And he clotheslines. A couple punches and a turn, you know, discus clothesline. Takes down Rob Van Dam. We're down to Raven. Raven dodged the clothesline. Kicks. Raven's effect. Again. Oh, there's some kicks. These two have history with each other. Countless history since their time in ECW. And he's just stomping away at Rob Van Dam. Oh, and there's a kick. Rob Van Dam goes for a Hurricane Rana. Both these men can still go. The fans here on their feet. Hard Rock Live at this arena near Atlantic City, New Jersey. Rob Van Dam goes. Has Hurricane Raw throws him out! And Rob Van Dam wins.
Oh my god. Well, there's a match for you folks. Here is, I think you see the day we're back. Here is your winner, Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam may not have won the Outsiders Burial back at, you know, Kroganza in the end of season one, but he won the throwback battle royale here tonight. Oh my god. I could just bet the four wrestlers of our roster are feeling so ashamed that they, all of them pretty much got thrown out really, really quick. And that's kind of sad.